It's easy. The second one I did, it wound up coming out pretty good. So, welcome everybody. This is Country Living, uh, pretending oh, he's well, a master would... coil builder. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a stagger tin. It's fucking easy. I can do it. <laughs> we are live. Fuck, you didn't even warp me. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, alright, so welcome everybody. Hopefully the audio's, alright, so my audio's looking good. Country, give me a check real quick. I'm a big old check. What up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> All right. I can actually probably turn mine down a little bit. Looks like I'm almost spiking. I'm going to put my headset in so there's no echo. Yeah, there might be some background noise um, on my end. So I apologize about that. So a little update, guys. You haven't seen me in a little bit. Um, I will be having the baby tomorrow, either morning or sometime in the afternoon, depending on when the hospital uh, has a bed available. But so we'll be calling at 6 a.m. and hopefully going right down. So in uh, honor of that, to commemorate that whole uh, me having a baby thing, I did a special coupon for the website. It's going to be 20% off uh, all the coils on the website. And I, what did I, 
Uh, I forget what it was now. Shit. Take advantage of the twenty percent. Get the competition coils. I mean, let's look. Look right there. Look at look at me. I'm hit. Fire hit. 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 <laughs> I mean, the Nichrome ninety competition coils. I'm telling you, man. You don't get them. I'm, I, the only reason they're still there because I'm giving y'all a chance to get them. Honestly. <laughs> I'll yeah. do another week, and if it's still there, whatever's left, I'm taking. I'm digging them up. Bottom line, I'm telling you, I am. I believe him. <laughs> you should, because what have I not said? I'm going to do something and not do it. Come yeah, on. you do it. You do it. Um. All right, I'm. I'm writing out the new. Uh, the new coupon code. Um, why don't you introduce yourself and tell everybody where we can find you? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Big country here. If you don't know who I am, I own, I own. I run a little small channel. I do reviews. I do DIY, e-juice mix review, uh, rock reviews, creations, and I have a little episode called the Clone Show, which I'm sponsored by Fast Tech. So uh, you can find my channel YouTube.com/slash Country Living. All one word, no G on the end. All right. Thanks for joining us. I'm an easy, simple guy. Thanks for having me, man. The baby. I'm telling you though, I've been I've been texting for like last two weeks or whatever, saying, "Yo, son of a bitch." July 12th is a wonderful day to have a baby, and then like on Tuesday night, I was like, "Tell her she cannot have the baby until after midnight." And then Wednesday, after I woke up, after I worked and woke up, then I I, I was so confident that it was going to happen throughout the night. I just texted him, "How's the baby doing?" <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Still the other like, Shut up, bitch." So, July twelfth, I guess it's like fifth. The fifteenth will be the day. That'll be tomorrow of the birth. Not quite as good as the twelfth, but still a July baby. Still a cancer. Still a summer baby. Still good. Still a good month to have a birthday. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, absolutely. So who we got in chat right now? Hey, gentlemen, Z Liquid, what's up, buddy? Uh, Miguel, Deb Lane, Enrique, Fran Francis, P. Francis, Juan Castillo, John Barron. Rob Yeomans, Chevy Man, Newfie Vapes, Deb Lang, Herb Williams, uh, Brian Etrus. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah, I think that's about all right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mr. Sherlock's stream. I'm sure he appreciates <laughs> it, as so do I. He's yeah. over there doing graphics on the fly. Yeah, that. I'm struggling as always. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> bad at this shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, fuck my hashtag or uh, whatever. No, All no, right. No. Well, that's right. You got me. You got me twice. That's yeah. at Sherlock Holmes. Man. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I got faith in you. No. Uh, no. Um, dash anymore. Thank God. All right. So, what do you guys want to do tonight? I'm kind of in the. So we're since we're leaving so early and it's already almost 10 30. I'm kind of we're in the mode of like packing everything. So I don't know if I'm going to be really. I'm not actually going to be building anything. I'm I, I'm getting my MyJet together because this is what I'll bring with me to the hospital. Hopefully it's one of the two days and out kind of issue. Um, with my first son, he was a little jaundice. Um, and so too. he was, yeah, he, I mean, it's fairly common. He was in the hospital for a few uh, extra days, like three extra days. Yeah. Um, but hopefully that's not the case. But just in case, I want to be prepared and... This is going to be a lot easier to maintain than um, having a big setup. Now. Hey, Chris. Hey, Dave. Deb, thank you. Chevy Man, how you doing? Solid gold stand. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you were talking about not liking this cotton, right? And uh, if you guys are my subscribers and you've watched me before in these live streams, you know my opinion on cotton. Personally, I use cotton balls, like organic cotton balls, and I, I, I think I found a cotton that has changed my mind. Well, that's not the Vape Wizard. I, when I asked the guy, the guy, which one he was showing me, he said his was Vape Wizard brand. So this is something totally different. Same theory, same logic, same idea behind it, but this is a different brand. It might be better. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either. So I've, I've got, I've been using it since I got it, and. I can definitely tell a difference. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is called um, Angle Rabbit Cotton Wicking Material. It's cotton. But their whole sales point is you can 
fire it until it's on fire and let it burn for 20 seconds and do that three times total and still be able to vape it so it's you know you don't get that uh, burnt taste you don't get that uh, fresh freshly wicked cotton taste and um, I haven't done the burn through test three times I did do it for 20 seconds and I was able to vape it after but I can say for sure up until now but for my testing it does hold juice like a motherfucker it really holds juice yeah, I mean, I guess they're advertising what sixty seconds of burnt cotton. I'm sure that that's an average duration over the lifespan of the cotton in that coil. So the odds are, if someone trying to set their damn cotton on fire legitly for twenty seconds at a time, are pretty low, unless you're trying to burn your shit up. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I mean, you know, every, every time we burn, every now and again, we get every, we all get a flame from here and there. So it's rarely even on for a second or two at the most but even then on some cottons now you still get that scorch taste so what they're advertising that you can do that and not get the scorch taste so i don't know personally but he's got a he's got, apparently kenny seems to like it <laughs> yeah so far so good i mean i'm gonna put it through its paces and when i finally get to do the review on it i'm gonna scorch the fuck out of it like i'm gonna get <laughs> my uh my torch and and play around and see what it can take but um we will see. Rob asks, is it rayon or cotton? Like, uh, I do. It says cotton wicking material, so I do not believe it's rayon. Does it say anything on the package? Like, might might show anything other than cotton as a? As yeah, a, it says Angora uh, Angora Rabbit cotton is applicable for RDA and RTA atomizer. We have kept using the highest quality natural cotton and the impurities in the cotton can be removed through the exclusive production process to ensure a better using experience. The cotton cannot be used for medical purposes. So I read that directly verbatim. That's why it right. sounded kind of crazy because, <laughs> you know, the translation isn't that great. But yeah, so I believe it is cotton. Um, I think it's just the way they process it. I, I would love to know if there's like a chemical additive or, or what it is that makes it I, I just I have I find it hard to believe that it's just the way they process it that allows it to burn like that without I, I don't know I just don't know what it is yeah there's, there's got to be yeah I'm, I'm, kinda, I'm in agreement with you there's got to be something they do during the development like or the processing you know they take a cotton out of the field they throw it in a big old whatever they do to freaking clean it out and separate it and there's got to be something added in there even if it's just micro strands of something there's got to be something that can't just be 100 percent cotton it just can't be right um i it don't seem like it can be any damn way <laughs> and i don't think they would have to say either way you know it's not yeah they don't i don't think they have to either but it is um i, I like it the texture it's... the feel it holds it holds moisture like crazy so the absorption is pretty good too you don't Fantastic. get many dry hits it's like Boom. Yeah, and it the, the the retention, it's I've been trying to push it to see at what point I'll get a dry hit and I have to push it pre reconnected. All right. Well, sorry about that guys if we lost you for a minute. Oh, I'm dripping everywhere. It's the life of a dripper, man. Life of a dripper. <laughs> a messy messy dripper. Yeah. <laughs> So what's it, what are you guys in the chat doing? Y'all got anything exciting going on right now? You got any like projects you're working on? Anything anything that you like you're just trying to nut down you're having trouble with? Whether it be EGs or coils or something like that? Yeah, we can use you're... a QA. Um yeah. the country's so, got the, the mixing answers and I've got the building answers. Yeah, so we pretty much like we said before, your one stop shop for vaping needs. Yeah. <laughs> DIY side. The DIY side. <laughs> So the Dead Rabbit's coming out, I think, next week. I'm really anxious. Cause from what you showed me when you had that, that part, I know. Oops, sh, 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 sh. Uh, <laughs> from what I know about it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to get my hands on it. Yeah, it's uh, if the prototype is anything, any kind of reflection of the finished product, I'm, I'm really, really excited to get the finished product. Yeah, it looks, uh, sounds, and, and, you know, Heathen talks a lot about it, too. He's trying to give out as much info as he can without putting too many spoilers, but he's got a couple of sites on, uh, posts on Instagram that I was looking at, and it's, it's, it looks pretty cool. I mean, the 
Uh, he, he expressed the name Dead Rabbit, some kind of mafia type deal or something from back in the day in Jersey and all that stuff. So uh, New York or whatever. I don't know. Oh, I missed that part. Yeah, it was in one of his little live things there just the other day when he was in his car at the doctor's office or something. <clears throat> in a few days. Yeah, Chris, once you have that collection somewhere, it's hard to just throw it all in a box. You, I just kind of randomly look to the right when I'm in my office and my window sill and I see everything or look behind me on my mantle, you know. So, yeah, all your stuff's in a box. You can't even stare at it. Even though you don't use it, you still have to look at it from time to time. <laughs> How sad is that, man? How sad about? It? <gasps> oh, gangs in New York. Oh, is that where it was? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's go. clever. I like that. Gangs in New York's a phenomenal movie. Well, I know something like it. it had something to do with mafia and shit, and gangs, whatever. You know. Well, those are like straight street gangs in Hell's right. Kitchen. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that movie in a long time though. It's an awesome movie. Leo kills it in that movie. Yeah, Leo's Leo. I, I don't know. I'm probably whatever but i like leo leo decap be cool yeah you love him yeah i love him <laughs> I, i'd go gay for him <laughs> that's Hashtag so sick. real talk that's so sick oh uh, that's what you get here on sherlock holmes you get real truth baby you get real, real truth <laughs> oh so high class vaping company sent me the rest of their bombshell line yeah i never replied back to them after this like <laughs> You should, dude. This juice is fucking awesome. Well, I don't, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm just not going to. You hold those grudges. I don't hold grudges, man. It's just, mm -hmm. I know one thing happened, but, you know, I'm sorry. But I don't hold grudges. I just decided to move on. I don't want to move backwards. So what all did you get, though? See the rest of their line. Uh, I got Lucille and uh so what's that one you're vaping on right now what this is, that? is elizabeth this is a cream <laughs> there you go throw her on the ground elizabeth pissed you off <laughs> oh. um cream cheese like cinnamon roll kind of oh. yeah and it's it's fucking awesome they i love because i love cinnamon vapes i got this i got a couple i ugh, my unicorn is about empty i gotta buy two more bottles of this so i don't run out before i can figure out how to make it this stuff sounds so damn simple and it tastes so damn simple but it's so hard to come to man i got like eight renditions of my my attempt to at making this damn thing it's aggravating the piss out of me i'm telling you i've got like fifth like five different cinnamons and and the flavora cinnamon rich cinnamon for one it's a 15 mil bottle you pay 13 dollars for it that shit's expensive for a flavor extract okay but i heard that was the one but i'm sure it's it's oh. I'm telling you though, it says it's a cinnamon funnel cake, but it's not. And all the little cloned attempt recipes on the web, I swear people have not tasted this thing because they're just trying to give you their recipe ideas off the name of it. It's a, honestly, it just tastes like cinnamon sugar water, to be honest. <laughs> but there's more to it. But it's so good, so good and sweet. And, oh, <sighs> Once I'm gonna I send this, you a bottle of this. I think you'll really like it. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> you really got you can't send me you already got yeah, that's you, uh, they send you more than one bottle oh did they yeah i got two of that one they knew i'd love it uh, well they were right i guess they were absolutely right no i might hit them back up because i need to get I, 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 but you know i still got remember this <laughs> yeah it's still it's it's still right here i've been i've been meaning for the past couple of weeks to do like a tuesday or a thursday or a saturday afternoon live show live taste testing i just i just have it I, that's why i've only committed the three days three videos a week monday wednesday friday or my three committed days and whatever else pops in just random yeah it's just if i it's just it depends on my work and how late i'm up the night before how what time i get up you know if i have time or if i'm even in the mood you don't still want to do a video or stream when you're just not in that mood you don't want to be like you know a dead rabbit you know talking yeah. you know <laughs> so it's just it's the stars haven't lined up to finish the freaking bag of juice that I got. Yeah, so it's just sitting that. right here on the floor beside of my chair and my desk. <laughs> one of these days. Well, yeah, it'll get finished up. Yeah, once once the baby comes home and we get a little bit more established as to what the routine's going to look like, I'm going to commit to specific days again for videos. So. Dude, well, once honestly, I know you think right now like. 
once the baby comes, probably won't, you'll have less time. But actually, I think now that the baby is there, you're not really in that limbo part. When's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? Don't want to get too occupied because it may happen. I think you're going to, well, you already got a kid, so you know this already. After about a week of the settling, after everything is settled in the home, you'll be back to a normal schedule and you'll be, you'll be good to go. Mm-hmm. You'll know when, you'll know when you can and can't do something just because there's no what ifs this happens in an hour or tomorrow you know so you'll be a little more uh have a little more better schedule so it's exciting though man another, another baby this boy or girl i don't think i ever asked you girl a girl yeah older brother yeah yeah perfect perfect, perfect way yeah perfect way to girl. be man older brother gonna kick boys ass yeah yes no, second baby. <clears throat> second one. I have a three year old son. He's going to be three in August. So I have like a two yeah. and three quarter year old, and tomorrow I'll have a one day year old. I think that's like the, the day perfect, the, the perfect, the perfect gap between them, man. In I my think opinion. so. I think my so. Sis, my sister was seven years older than me. When I was in kindergarten, she was in sixth grade. So, you know, it's like these kids, they could still be in the same school together for a couple of years at a time until they, of course, the older one goes to junior high and high school. But I think it's a good, good, nice gap. Nice yeah. gap. Yeah, I think it'll be a good, like, they'll be in high school for a year together or two, maybe a year. Yeah. A year. So how many, uh, how many more are you going to have? Three, That's four? It. That's no, it. No, no. I'm getting You snipped. got one of each and you're done, huh? I'm getting snipped. No, dude, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I am. You know what? I, I ain't going to talk about it. I'm already. Oh, I'm not. I'm not actually doing it. But really, I'm. I'm already thirty. I don't. I don't want any more kids right now. But see, that's that's what's actually preventing me from getting it. Is I don't know if in the future, I'll want more kids. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. You don't see a woman can have reversible procedures. Men can. The fuck. Why the hell you call? What the hell was that all about? What. You were calling me again in Zoom. Oops. <laughs> the hell? That's what Zoom said anyway. Um, yeah, that, that procedure cannot be reversed in men. Once you're cut, you're cut. <laughs> yeah, so we were looking at options for, um, you know, birth control after the fact. And um, we were looking at the tying the tubes. And, but my thing was like, why make, we don't know what we're going to want two years from now. So, you know, they have birth control options that are like five, three, five, and ten year commitments. So you could always do one of those. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the the better way. With technology today, there's probably a pill that can probably make your things a little less active. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? You heard it here first on the Sherlock Holmes live stream. (laughs) Yeah, any doctors or scientists out there, make it happen. No more snip snip for the men, damn it. Oh, wow, yeah, take a sec. Uh, you're, oh, you're in Harrisburg, PA. What's up, man? See, I'm just a few hours below you. He's a couple hours above you. So you're in the middle. What's up, Thad? What up, buddy? Um. Oh, it is? Hold up. Getting snipped is reverse. How are you going to reattach something that's been cut off and pulled? No, all right. Maybe today's medical technology has... They just reconnect that hose, man. That's it. Listen, I've seen videos of this procedure. They snip, snip one in, snip, snip the other, and they pull that hose out. How are you going to put the hose back in when you are getting out? That's I mean, not the question we need to ask here. The question <laughs> we need to ask here is, why the fuck are you watching vasectomies on YouTube? Listen, it's biology. I was in college, uh-huh. okay? Not YouTube. <laughs> I didn't say I watched it on YouTube. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was in college when I seen this shit. Uh-huh. Then again, I've been out of college for 15 years. So Education. Yeah, education. <laughs> I'm not a smart guy. I'm in this country. I, you already know I ain't smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Big old dumb redneck. But I'm pretty. Isn't that one of the rules of power? And never let people see how intelligent you are? I think that's yeah. the game you're playing right there. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> I'm going to rub my eyes and shit. I'll, I don't know. See, I worked like a 22-hour shift there in, in the past 36. So I, I kind of just woke up like an hour and a half ago. And, uh, uh, 
yeah so i'm i'm rubbing my eyes sorry i'm still in my wake up phase this is this is my this is my coffee you know, do diet you drink mountain coffee dew. or you just drink mountain dew yeah diet mountain dew or diet dr pepper um, and or, or water i drink a lot of water too but this is my coffee i don't drink coffee uh this is my caffeine uh nothing <sighs> on this planet should be that color that doesn't kill you Mountain Dew and radiation are the only two things colored that color. Mellow yellow, lemon like lime Kool Aid. You can use Coca Cola, uh, Coca Cola, Coca Cola to clean your engine. You ever see that? Yes. Yeah. You can rusty bumper, no problem. Put some Coke on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if you put thirsty, a penny in a bottle of Coke, <laughs> leave it overnight, see what happens the next day. See what you got left. Fucking crazy. Yeah, none of this shit's good. Even water is not good for you. I mean, come the hell on. Water. Yeah. They they talk about that the the the, the bottles. The, there's some chemical in the bottles that's killing people now. But, and I don't know where they how they link the plastic bottles, but even bottled water ain't good for you no more. Yeah, it's like BPA. I think is the the chemical cool. BPA three. Yeah. You'll see now. Well, it's yeah, like it's uh, back. Uh, I think it was like the 1600s. They used to drink out of lead goblets. Like lead goblets, and it was like killing people left and right, and they couldn't figure it out. Like, <laughs> you never know. Who fucking knows, man? You just never know what the hell's gonna kill you until it kills someone, and they finally do the research and figure, yeah. hey, this is linked to that. After 40 years of being healthy and safe, all of a sudden you can't do it no more. Let's hope they don't find that out about vaping. Yeah, well, I mean. <sighs> Canthal wire kills you or something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just Canthal. I'm Micromady Man. Thank you very much. <laughs> still make, yeah, they still make Mellow Yellow Dog. That's Coke's Mountain Dew. They call me Mellow Yellow. <laughs> yeah. See, I see. I like uh, I like Mr. Pibb, but they don't have a diet Mr. Pibb, so I, I kind of prefer it over <laughs> the Dr. Pibb. Pepper, actually. <laughs> Mr. Pib, Pib, Pib Extra, man? Yeah, I like it kind of better than Dr. Pepper, but they don't have a Diet Pib, so I have to stick with the Diet Dr. Pepper. Country, you I know what? My mom drinks Diet Dr. Pepper, and well, uh, when she was, I think she drinks all kind of, uh, I know a lot of moms that drink Diet Dr. Pepper, but um, so when she was in, there's still one Diet Dr. Pepper left up in my fridge that'll probably sit there until the day you come to my house and we hang out, <laughs> and you can drink that Diet Dr. Pepper. Well, there you go. That's right. Hold it, hold it there for me. That way, I got something to look oh, forward to when I get there. Any any news um, about Vapor Slam? Uh, let me go check. And Chance, the answer to that question is because you're a tool. <laughs> I don't Chance. know. Chance is Chance in the chat? Yeah, he just asked why he's got a wrench beside his name. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Right, apparently, he wasn't an admin last time, but he is now. I guess. So, for everybody who's seeing this for the first time, as opposed to this guy that I finagled together on video, um, Chance made this for me, and it's perfectly suited for building. It's absolutely phenomenal. And Ch I didn't try the, um, the eye hook yet. I just kind of threw my drill on uh, because I wanted to get going on it, but I fucking love this thing. Um, my build clamps fit perfectly on it for my aliens, and I hang my alien, my decord claptons right here. It's fucking awesome, man. It saves me space. I love it. I didn't even have to trim it up at all because the dist I like the distance it gives me. It's further off from the uh, the edge of the table. I love it, man. Thank you. So, what we're going to be doing, we still have to figure out the uh, the logistics of it, but I'm going to be putting Chance's build, um, I don't know, station? I don't know what the fuck to call it. Uh, swivel stand, I guess? They're going to be going up on the website, and we'll be figuring something out, but I'll let you guys know when it comes to that. Um, Vape Mania Vapor Slam Facebook page is no longer available. Oh man, that's not looking good. The websites are still saying sales in them, but the Vapor Slam they had a fucking web page, they had a Facebook page, 
I have it bookmarked here. I've been to it. I, when's the update? When's the update? When are you going to give me an update? I've said it over the, over the course of the past month or so. Now I can't. Now the page is not available. Well, that sucks. That don't look like we're going in the right direction. <laughs> Either that or you just say, let's go ahead and stop advertising for the damn thing. Quit it. You know, because hopefully it winds up working out okay. But right now, I see no information. And that's badass chance for the... Uh, uh, and Sherlock, has your stands going on the site? That's fucking great. And Chance is saying that yours is reversible, but really, man, I could put this on either end and I could have it work either way. It doesn't does have mean? to be, um, like, either... It doesn't have to be um, dominant hand specific. I could have rocked it on either end. Okay. Oh, that's what I mean by reversible, going either end of the table. Okay. Yeah. I remember he asked me what's what, what you know how I wanted them. Like I really don't know, man. I don't I, I don't know yet. So I just kind of figured set it up the kind, kind of the way yours is set up. That's the way I've been doing it. Is going from with my left hand, drill on the right, and going to the left. So I just kind of kind of mimic yours. That yeah, way I, I don't. We I, were talking about I, that the other night. I don't know why I started building with my non-dominant hand, but. I I could tell you just from just from me where I have to actually physically. I I don't. So just because I don't have the whole setup yet, the whole table set up yet, is when I'm spinning, I got to keep tension on that drill. Um, I got to keep pressing the drill to keep the tension going uh, or pushing the drill away so I can keep that tension. And and I felt like if I was doing that with my left hand, I wouldn't be able to do it um, as, as well because I got to kind of push with my arm and control my thumb at the same time. And I think I would need my dominant hand to be able to have those – motor skills to do that. I don't know if I can do that with my left hand or not. Honestly. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe that sounds weird to some of you professional cool builders out there, but give me a break. I'm a one-eyed country boy. <laughs> 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 what are you doing over there? Oh, you, oh, you got a whole bag of shipping stuff, don't you? Whole, whole shelf full of shipping stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you run a business or something. What's wrong with you? How about that? <laughs> Holy shit, where's that going? Got a Big little flat rate, man. If it fits, it ships. You should see <laughs> some of the Tetris I do in these fucking bags. <laughs> <laughs> if it fits, it ships, right? What's that bag cost? What's that bag here cost you? Oh, that bot. Oh, Juan. Hey, what up, Juan? Look at you, dog. Juan's a patron, so he gets first first crack at everything. There you go, Juan. You get the Juan, custom you cover, made. You cover the shipping. I'll send it to you, buddy, If you're if you really want it. All right. Um, what are, Juan says, "Give me the custom one." <laughs> Can't find that. Um, how, how so I got all the patrons giveaways out. Um, they got a nice little build kit. Some of them are a little different, um, but for the most part, they got uh, some some nice goodies. What's that? I'm not going to say. I'm just kind of showing them off. Are those those, uh, what do you call them? Tomahawks? No, no, no. These are front, uh, stage staples. Oh. Good man, Sherlock. You're all. You're... Don't build his head up like that, Rob. Come on, <laughs> Rob. <laughs> So you say you're going to be uh, you're going to be have to take your little your little thing. Oh, speaking of the whole thing, I got a black cherry 12 mg. Oh yeah. Nick salt. Yeah. How'd it come out? It come out. It's been it, it's been a week. I tasted just a little bit ago. It actually the, the flavor's there. I mean, I already I've already determined. I'm not going to get the flavor that you were going off an RDA, but my goal was to have a stronger flavor than what I think would be normal, but I'm about to buy some of those Mr. Salties just to kind of taste theirs, right. to see if I see if I have actually succeeded that that flavor elevation or not. I'm gonna have to buy a bottle just to test it. Um, but I'm starting to see more and more about Nick Salks around the fucking interwebs, man. Recipes and such. There's another company out doing them now, besides you know manufacturer Jewel, but there's another company doing them now. 
um, a couple other companies doing it. So I'm, I'm just seeing more things about Nick Salts on the web, and I'm 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 missing the train, damn it, until I get this shit down. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it's getting pretty fucking big. My uh, my site that had my cheap my jets, fucking uh, sold out of them. I shouldn't have been giving out that fucking link. I knew I was gonna regret that. <laughs> wow, there there's no more. Uh, they they still got more pa- more of the pods or the tanks left. No. Oh. Yeah. I knew but- I should have bought ten of them, motherfuckers. <laughs> Uh, I ordered another my jet for my mom, and all of a sudden it was like the order is canceled. And I was like, "What the fuck? Like, did they bill my card like four million times? Like, what's what <laughs> happened here? Thinking I have no money in the fucking bank, <laughs> you know? I got robbed or something. And yeah. they didn't even let me know. They they weren't even like, "Oh hey, sorry, we're out of stock. We have to cancel your order." It was just canceled. And I didn't know till I had to go check on the order. Like I never got any notification whatsoever. I was kind of kind of pissed about it. Yeah, it's not very good service there. No. Ed, the building actually is is pretty cool, man. It's just uh, you know I'm not doing anything extravagant. My only goal was to just be able to make my own few types, and I might try something a little more extravagant. But I, I already know when it comes to like alien wire shit like that, I'm not going to do that shit. But I see something called the Staggerton, which looks pretty easy actually i mean fuck you outside of the whole seeing 40 gauge wire when i can't see it all <laughs> outside of that whole thing but i mean think of, i mean I, I look at it. all you got is two platins with six pieces of river wire between it and you wrap the bitches up in the platins i mean it looks that uh, i'm telling you see even fused platins i was intimidated by that first one i did i had it was spaced I didn't have the tension right. The second one I did, it went through fine. I mean, it's and I was like, dang, I was talking to Isaiah. I'm like, dude, this is fucking easy. <laughs> Why are we bitching about this shit? So I'm like, I, I can do a single clap. But I can put two of those together. I can put some ribbon between it. And I can... The Staggerton looks pretty easy to me. It really does. But then again, maybe I'm just a professional and I didn't even know it. And I picked up things quicker maybe. than the average person. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Know. Maybe but I'll no. hire you to build the coils and ship them to me, and I could have some. I can have my first employee. Hey, hey, hey never know, never know. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, my only goal really is just so I can build my own fuse platforms whenever I want, different variations how I want. And when I go to get extravagant shit, I'm just going to get them from Kenny here. So, um, there's no point in me even trying to be a. I just, you know, we're, I'm, I'm five months into vaping, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of exploring all the avenues in the vaping world, you know, and, and the DIY aspect, the reviews, of course, all the different mods and packs and so forth. So eventually, I'm sure my cyclone of a path will wind down <laughs> and I will focus on certain areas that I really like. But I have noticed, though, what I have, I've only done like three different types of uh, oils so far, or three different times I've, I've spun coils, but... I've said it before and you've heard me say it. I just find it relaxing watching somebody spin coils. Like, well, that's why I'm talking. I said, like, dude, go live while you're spinning. Just fuck. While you're working, go live. I can't be the only one who just enjoys watching somebody make coils. Um, but I have realized that while I'm spinning, I think that's relaxing as hell, just making coils too. Um, it's shocking, really. It's just it's just like you're you're focused on that wire alone and everything around you. Just it's just like it's just kind of peaceful. Then again, I don't do 100 coils a day either, so I probably get tired of it after about a day of that shit. Um, it's hard sometimes to drag my ass into this chair. Yeah, you know, it's just like with any job. That right now, this, that's your job. You have a company uh, and you wholesale orders, so that's your job. So it, if it was any job, even though it starts out as fun and as a hobby or relaxing or whatever, then after a while, once it's your job and you are required to do it, it just changes the whole fucking thing. Not easy country. <laughs> I, I hear you, Rob. It just looks easy. Micah says, you just wait. <laughs> staple is like the hardest coil. Staple? I haven't done a st- Well, you know what? I saw a staple. All, all that damn thing is, is like eight pieces of ribbon wire um, wrapped around with one single wire. I mean, how can that be hard? Come on now. A staple coil? That's just... Uh, come on. That cannot be hard. The hardest part is getting the freaking ribbon wire together and and keeping it there through the whole spinning process. That's all that is. 
Oh, I watched awesome. uh, Squid Dude make his this morning, actually. Oh, yeah, so you're an expert. You watched one video. You can do it. <laughs> I, I can just, I mean, maybe because they are pros and why they make it look easy, but when you think about the freaking logic of it, of the statement, I mean, when you think about it, I, I try to break things down simplistically in my head. It just, it just, I don't know. When I actually try to attempt something like that, I'm going to be screaming and cussing and fussing and like throwing shit across the room, probably. I'm sure. That's just, that's just the way I am. Go live when you stack the ribbon. That's what you want to see. Hey, I got. I'm. I'm waiting. I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, trying to figure. I'm. I'm still shopping. Um, uh, to try to get some decent wire prices. So, yes, Rob, relaxing channel. You said it right there. Cool building is an escape. Absolutely. And Mike, yeah, I will go live. The ribbon is the problem. Yeah. yeah that's kind of what I was thinking about when just watching it. That's the hardest part. But you know, like with anything else. Hey, Adrian, how you doing? Like with anything else, though, is um, preparation is key. If you prepare correctly, that's the longest and most tedious part of preparation. I and mean, that's not anything, whether it be coils or, you know, home or work on your car, whatever. If, if you have the proper preparation, then the actual execution should be uh, a lot easier. What are you doing? What are you doing over there staring at your jig? You, you, you saying your goodbyes like you're going to miss it when it's gone? Oh yeah. <laughs> What'd you write on it? Tell me what you wrote on it. Talk to me. Talk just between us. Yeah. I, I won't tell nobody. <laughs> yeah, and the seven people watching. Yeah, and he, and he wrote in black sharpie. Whatever he wrote. Was the bottom not painted? No, it's all painted. Wow. So it's like black secret sharpie, UV black. lighting. You have to hit it with UV light to see the secret message. Oh, that one is. That one is. <laughs> Super stickers. Oh, one. So yeah. here's here's how I stretch my aliens. I just clamp them right to the same, the same post and just lock them away. I know. I've watched you. I've, like I said, I watched like four or five hours of your videos the other day, and you talk about when it comes to the stretching part of aliens. It just all comes to feel depending on how big your core is and how much you want to do, and it just comes from experience, so you can learn how far to stretch it. Um, what do you what, what do you just stretch this for for what is your core size for this particular one you stretched for just now? Uh, it was a twenty six. Uh, dual. Uh, wait. What do you mean? Like my alien core? Yes. My alien cores are two twenty four gauge pieces of nichrome. Okay. So and then you wrap that in a twenty six. Is that right? I clapped in the twenty six. Yeah. Clapped in the twenty six. So let me, let me ask you this: um, Since you're using dual twenty fours, why is it always a wise thing to clap to in the size higher? Or I would think I would I, I, like I would have just used the same size core as a clap, and that's what I would be using. No, um, twenty six will cover a real wide variety of core uh, combinations. Okay. Like I can get up to a alien frame staple with probably eight cores with the 26 gauge um clapton all the okay. way down to three three twenty sixes two twenty fours and everything in between four twenty sixes sometimes it just there's so much that goes into getting a clean patterned alien like how much you stretch it how much tension it's it's really different every time there is no standard so people always ask me what the secret is, and there just, there really isn't one. Okay. I'm not sure what that pinch and pull method means, John, personally. Stretching your core is all about the S. Nice, Deb. Nice, Deb. So that quick, huh? Scratch. Look how quick that shit was. Give me a close-up. I want to... Give me a close-up. I think you... 
I'm going to see if that's legit or you're just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I just like turn to the one, a couple wraps, bam, on full speed. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? So I hear something. Maybe you can answer this verbally. What is the pinch and pull method? Ah, nice and clean. Okay, you're, maybe you're legit after all. How about that? <laughs> um, pinch and pull method. What's that mean? Pinch and pull is instead of stretching it, you stretch oh. it by hand. Got it. Yeah, like just kind of as you're wrapping it. Okay. Yeah, I've seen some people do that. I think the stretch would probably work better. Like if I ever do attempt something like that, I, I waste. I doubt I will though. It's just I too, only too nail much. about three out of four times with the pinch and pull. So you're more consistent with the stretch. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. One hundred percent. Absolutely. Okay. It's just not. It doesn't save enough time to be. I just don't have it like that with the pinch and pull method. What about some of the people that don't? stretch or pull at all they just kind of let it come out of their hands oh that's what i was just talking about that's oh okay so that's that's known as the pinch and pull i uh, yeah i guess that okay. there's a third one i don't know about yeah so like oh, okay, when you get yeah. locked in at the core you pinch and pull it and that's yeah. how like how much you see how much you need it stretched and you maintain that that pinch on the the clapton the d chord clapton yeah it makes sense john even just uh clarified as well okay so same method just I, I was thinking of two different ways gotcha so that's this is the newbie mind you know when you when you don't know the terms and the techno uh, you know the the, the 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 vocabulary for something new then you sound like an idiot which i do all the time anyway so no, <laughs> i fit right in nobody sounds like an idiot for asking questions Shit. What, I wish some... I had a, somewhere to go to ask the questions that I needed answered when I learned, was learning. I didn't have any kind of resource like that. I had to learn everything on my own. Let's see here some of my questions. Hang around long enough. You'll be like, dude, this dude's an idiot. But that's <laughs> why I started this channel. There you go. See? Yep. Three to one is the alien ratio. Three to one is the alien ratio. Like length of wire, I guess, core times three. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I guess that could be a general rule of thumb. Like, what it, what he's talking about is like if I do a twenty six gauge core mm -hmm. uh, for the Clapton, then three twenty six is. That's what I I could do that with the Alien. I could do three twenty sixes. So if I wanted to do three twenty fours, I would Clapton twenty four gauge. Okay, but the same length though. Um. Yeah. Well, I always you always need more Clapton than your cores, your finished cores are going to be. So if you want 10 inch finished Alien, you're going to want like 12, 14, 16 inches of Alien wrap, like D chord Clapton. Right. So it's always better to have more than have not have enough. Yeah. So. I mean, um, and just because you're making the core a lot wider, you're going to need a lot more to cover that same area. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but if you're using, you know, that like the one, the, the one to three is a good, a good rule of thumb. But once you really start to become one with the, the wire, you can, you, you know, where you can manipulate it to still get the clean patterns. You know what I mean? Instead of having to, to fuck with your gauges. That's why I can build a shitload of 20, 26 gauge, um, D chord Claptons and use them in a in various configurations across all my different aliens, no matter what I'm using. That's why I'll just stick with nice, simple, huge Claptons. <laughs> I'm not looking to go extravagant. So I will attempt that Staggerton though one day, but uh, just cause I think it can come together okay. I think I got one of those from you there on my last on that last package or something, and I remember tasting it. It was like fucking great. What'd you get? I think I, got, I think I got a staggered and sent from you there on that first package, that little care package you sent me. I think one of them was a Staggerton. Either you or the other guy. I think it was you, though, because I, I remember you saying that was your flavor build. Oh, yeah, probably. Plus one for dual cores. That's Roger. 
Hey, Josh, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the strap, man. Welcome to the stream. So you're just making these little uh, these these little aliens here. These are just for you personal use, or was that for? No, those were. I just I had those set in the drill from earlier. Um, oh, you got a whole bunch of stocks there. Okay. Those are all aliens. Those are the Canthal aliens, and then the Nichrome aliens are over there as well. So, hey, can you, uh, from what I've read, I, I, I mean, I had some Canthal fuse clappings, and it seemed like just the ramp up time is just fucking longer than Nichrome. Why, what's the advantage of Canthal, or why do, why do you think people prefer Canthal over stainless steel or Nichrome? It depends on what kind of vape you're going for. I mean, you can, uh, dis despite what wire you're using, really, if you're shooting for your ideal vape, right? If you like it hot and with Nichrome, you vape at 30 Watts. If I was vaping the same setup, but with, um, with the Canthal, um, coil, I would just bump the wattage up to like 50, 55 or 60 to get me that same effect. Um, but a reason I would use Canthal specifically is if I'm trying, if I'm shooting for a specific resistance, like if I want the resistance to be higher and I know I can't accomplish that with Nichrome with that build, when you're starting to get up into, like my Staggertons, my four core staggered uh, fuse Claptons. If I made those with Nichrome, they would probably be around a 0 0.1, 0 0.10, um, or point, <laughs> yeah, point, point 0.1, or maybe 0 0.11, and I just, I didn't want them that low. I have a lot of other coils that are that low, and from my experience, they just vape better at 0 0.16, which is where they land with Canthal. How many ramps are that? I'm wraps, I mean. Five on a three millimeter. Uh, five on a three. So if you use Canthal, three millimeter, five wrap on your Staggertons, you get a 0.16. Yeah. And if you use Nichrome, you get a 0.11. Yeah, or point, point oh 0.08 sometimes. Well, okay, so the different wire determines multiple things, heat and resistance and flavor and, and that aspect so yeah and ramp up time and you know you've got to take into account the mass of the coil like how thick the coil is um mm -hmm. it, it's really like unless you're going to learn the specific science of it which i don't nah. even know like between the different types of wire i just know from experience how they perform and the way i figured out what i want to do with different configurations especially for the website i've built i can't even tell you how many coils i've built like so if i offer a 24 gauge um dual core fuse clapped in i've made that with canthal and nichrome and i've done seven wraps on a three i've done five wraps on a three five i've done 11 wraps on a 2.5 i've done almost every configuration possible so um I, I land somewhere where I know that you can adjust the wattage depending on the device and the airflow. It would be comfortable at a nice even range. And then if I'm shooting for a specific um, consumer, like with the competition coil, you know, you know what you're getting a really hot, really fast, really intense kind of product. So, Nichrome 90 core right here. I'm telling you, I love this bitch. Yeah. Uh, too bad Nichrome 90 is not readily available in, in like large pools right now, but uh, I like that. I like it for sure. And uh, John, I did try that and I, I had the tension wrong. So the center core kind of got pushed out instead of being like this, kind of went like that. And I kind of like got like a little Mohawkish looking coil. <laughs> oh, so it didn't really work out for you, huh? Thought it was supposed to be easy. Listen, that was my first triple core attempt. I didn't know it. Uh -huh. I but now that I know, all I need is some fucking little clips to figure out how to keep them damn things parallel. There you stock. go. That's all you need is a little clips and you got it. <laughs> That's it. It's just those little clips. That's it. 
<laughs> well, then again, I also need to get. I need to get. I need to get the right setup. Once I get that stand, and I and I that will help. The, and I get and I get things. So I have some room under the wire instead of being right on the table. I'll, I'll I'll have more room to where I can actually work instead of being like this trying to get. You know. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh-huh. Once I get everything higher out, it'll be better too. Chance Chance brought up <coughs> um, Chance said can't, uh, Nichrome or yep no Canthal lasts longer than Nichrome and that's absolutely true. You'll get double the life out of really yeah Canthal. I got I got some because I bought that KB wire there in the back. I just got I got a, the, the wire bundles they had going on. I bought a thing a bundle of Canthal, a bundle of stainless steel, and a bundle of Nichrome eighty. So I haven't even touched the Canthal yet, but uh, I did do a a dual stainless steel wrapped in some twenty six stainless steel and wrapped in thirty six Nichrome the other night. You know what? Hey, one other thing is the core wire. Is that is that where the wrist is? Is this yes? English. That's where the resistance come from. The core wire. Yeah, and then the this wrap a... wire that the wrap wire can affect resistance as well if you're using something like a thirty two or a thirty for the outer wrap. Um, that's a lot of mass. It's going to affect it more than your thirty four, thirty six. When you get down to like forty and and anything higher than that, it's not really going to make much of a difference at all. A readable difference. Um, but yes, your outer wraps can absolutely affect, you're adding more wire to it. So it's more Mm -hmm. mass. Um, but most of the resistance comes from the core wire though. And and the wrap is pretty much for looks and flavor enhancements and shit like that. Basically. Uh, basically. And from, from a, a, nobody knows shit. Yeah. Kind of perspective. The more you're putting on the outside of the coil, regardless of what the, the cores are, you'll decrease the ramp up time because it's just such a bigger coil. It's so much more to heat up. That's why like those really intricate frame staples and things like that are so much more. um, They, they, they put a beating on your battery because your battery has to work really hard to get it to heat up. Like it would a single wrap, it would be like a single round wire. You'd hit the button and it would fire immediately. But it's going to take a while to heat up all that metal um, when you have a lot of intricate cores with a lot of intricate wrapping. Gotcha. That's like that night when I I built that that Clapton. Um, so a little little bit of context on this story. I built uh, I was I was building some Claptons and I I kept having it, it kept backing up on itself and I was like you know what, I'm going to build a Clapton where I like Clapton it over twice and see how that performs and I I was like fuck it, I'm just going to go all out so I I took a 26 gauge core and I Claptoned it in 34, then 36, then 38, then 40, then 46 just like kept Claptoning over it and uh, it was probably the slowest ramp up time that I've ever experienced in my life. So next time I do that, I'm going to do a 24 gauge core, wrap it in 36, and then wrap it again with 46, and see how that comes out. I think that's going to be a flavor beast. I actually might make it with 22 gauge, or is that what I made it with? Fuck, I forget. <laughs> So many coils, man. So many coils. So much wire. Too many coils. All right. It's past my bedtime. So I'm going to get wrapping this up. Um, Country living. Thank you so much as always. No, thank you, man. Thank you. It's always cool to hang out with the the chat and and talk to you and pick your brain about the world of coil making. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, Thank you for interacting. Oh, yeah, buddy. I've been getting a lot of requests on uh, Tsuka coils, and so I'll be doing a video on those in the next couple months coming up. That's a new name I've never heard. T.S. Tsuka. Yeah, Tsuka. That's another Blue-Eyed Goon concept, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. 
You can do them. They're easy. You just uh, you just well, let me let me watch a video first. Yeah, you just twist you. a bunch of ribbon wire and clapped in twisted ribbon wire into a pattern. No, no that, problem for you. You no, got that. No. <laughs> you got that. You'll you'll have one nailed by the morning. I know it. <laughs> I want to watch some videos and I'll, I'll have one tomorrow for you. I'll tell you the easiest way to do it. <laughs> yeah. So in my absence, country will be putting out expert build videos. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I just want to say thank you everybody for the constant support and everything. I will probably be off for the next, um, I don't know how long with the new baby, but thank you to all my patrons, viewers, subscribers, everybody watching the replay. Uh, definitely hit that, um, that like button. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that. And don't forget 20% off every coil on the website your entire order with baby sherlock the code baby sherlock and my chrome 90 competition calls right yeah here, i think i think there's maybe one or two maybe three left i'd have to check but uh I'm telling you i'm only giving you guys one more week if you ain't got them <laughs> i'm taking them period i love these some of the bitches um but yeah so thank you guys so much country thanks again and i will see you guys next time Thanks, guys. Bye.